Hey guys, what's going on? So uh, here's some of the stuff I've been working on. Uh, the last thing I finished was this 1 over 35 scale tank, uh, Abrams tank here. So what I did here was I did some um, I did some hairspray chipping. So hairspray chipping is where I applied a layer of black and I applied a layer of hairspray and when the hairspray dried I applied a layer of the um, desert sand color and then I used a knife to chip away the desert sand and basically reveal the black that's underneath so all the edge chipping that you see here is done using the hairspray technique it came out pretty good um, I find that it's easier to get control with you have more control with a knife than you do with a paintbrush at least in my opinion so I like the chipping on the side armor plates um, especially some of the locations here and um, in some places here I kind of went overboard and put too much chipping doesn't look doesn't look very natural so then after I did the chipping uh, what I did was I used these pastels that I have here so these are just uh, soft pastel sticks and I scraped them with a knife to get it into powder form and I just applied it with a paintbrush so you can probably see there's a lot of yellow streaks and a lot of brown streaks that I used uh, the pastels to get that effect and I did some other things like uh, panel lining and um, I did a brown wash over the entire part so one interesting thing is I screwed up and uh, it's on the bottom so I left it here you can see these mud flap cracks right there so what happened there was I applied the desert tan uh, or rather the desert sand before the hairspray dried okay so when the desert sand was drying it tends to shrink and because the hairspray underneath it was still wet it created these mud flap cracks so I left it there I didn't try to repair it it's on the bottom so you can't see it but that's kind of a interesting effect um, but unintentional so that's my first tank came out pretty decently uh, not too bad for uh, first uh, first effort on a tank so what I'm working on right now is this Rayon Ayanami garage kit and uh, most of the parts are actually over here I've got some of the parts over here as well as over here so I've I've been sanding the uh, sanding the tabs and smoothing it out and whatnot and I started pinning the parts so on some of these parts I started drilling holes and I actually covered it with the masking tape but I used a drill bit and a drill to drill holes and then I started cutting some wire in order to pin the two parts so if you want two parts to join together you drill holes on both sides uh, both parts I should say and then you put a pin through it and that and then you glue everything together the problem I had there was uh, I had trouble with drilling the hole straight and so for example on this part here there's a hole right there in the center of the raised portion and then if you take the masking tape off there there's a hole there and it's really hard to drill the hole straight um, unless you had a drill press or something and you clamped it in place perfectly aligned I just had a hand tool that I have laying around somewhere and so because the the holes weren't straight and the pins started to get crooked um, I kinda I kinda abandoned that approach because I was getting frustrated with it and instead I tried using this green stuff that I have laying around yellow blue need a tight quote-unquote green stuff so this is two-part epoxy 
you take the two parts, you mix them together. And what I did was, you can see the green stuff right in the seam line where the legs join the body. So, I'm basically using the epoxy as a glue and I press the two parts together and I use this sculpting tool to scrape away the excess uh, putty that came out. And you can see here, uh, there's a hole here where I accidentally drilled through the part and I had to replace it with the green stuff epoxy. So I think the green stuff takes like two days to cure. So right now I'm waiting for it to dry uh, and fully cure before I do anything else here. And even before it's cured, it seems pretty strong. I haven't tried to pull these parts apart, but um, so far they seem pretty strong. There's quite a bit of, yeah, there's a lot of green stuff that, that fills into these two parts. Because when you put these two parts together, there's just a huge gap that goes all the way around because the two parts don't mate perfectly together. So the green stuff just fills in all the material in there. And um, you really have to push the two parts together and then all the excess green stuff comes out. And then I've been wiping away all the uh, excess green stuff. So we'll see how this goes. Um, here are some of the parts. Some of it, it's unclear what the order of operation should be in terms of do I glue the parts together and then prime it and paint it? Or do I want to um, prime and paint some of the parts before gluing them together? If I paint, if I prime and paint first, then I have to be careful not to use too much of the green stuff as a filler. Otherwise, it just comes out and can damage the paint job. So anyways, we'll see how this one turns out. Um, this is my first scratch kit, so I bought a pretty cheap one without too many parts. So hopefully it'll turn out okay. Alright guys, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.